Hi guys, welcome to Novel Novels and this is my bookshelf tour. So many of you requested that I do this, so here we go. Be warned my recording is not the best. Now I actually did this video about two weeks ago originally, but I went to Julie's, bought more books and I thought it was only fair to show you the real me, or the changed me so to speak. Now there's top four books of library books which we'll be going back in the next day or so. You can see on the end, you see I've got my Gary Barlow. Yes, I'm a big Take That fan. Some of these ones Charlie's given me and some I've been given by Julie. And I've got my Harry Potter, some Celia Hearn and some children's books. Don't know how good the viewers are that. Now down to the next middle shelf. I love this. I've got a lovely picture from Mary. And it used to hide books I didn't like, but now it just looks pretty on the shelf. Now those first two books Julie's given me. And the Black Roses, I can't wait to read, especially. Both of them are desperate to read. Now, guys, bear with me. I am now going to take the picture off. But it's hard to take it off when you've got loads of books on the shelves. So you can see, this is my all my chiclets shelf. And the other books have just fallen down. Yes, those are some Sophie Kinsella on the end. Which one's that one hiding? Oh, there's some more books. There's a book in there, Marley and Me, that I've had for so long. I need to get on with reading it and work out whether I'm going to keep it. I'm now getting better that if I don't like it, if I don't plan to reread a book, I will be getting rid of it. You can see Book Love on the end there. I love that book. That was literally, Simone got me that to make me feel better. And oh my goodness, that's brilliant. There you go, some other books. I'm not gonna... Like I said, guys, if you see any of these books and you want me to buddy read with you or me to give you reviews, let me know. The next shelf again has got a couple of chiclet. There's some books hidden at the top there. And you go across, you can see some lovely books. That, the Rosie Project, I'm just going to show you when I read these. That one I'm going to be do, re, buddy reading with Nikki and Melissa. So if you, anyone wants to join us, let me know. There you go, I've got some books that, that my friend Anna's lent me, so I can't wait to read those, especially the Fiona Gibson. You'll see upstairs I've got one of her books. Now there is actually a book I want to show you there. That that one, this um, Amanda Brooke video, is actually inspired by the lovely Simone and... Um, Nicole, Nikki, Nikki, yeah, Nicole, because they've inspired me to try the, the sort of more sort of interesting books, the more thrillery books. So we go down the shelf. There's Dawn's and Rose's ones. There, the Akatar series. That um, Ju Lisa Jewell book is actually been inspired by a friend Emma gave it to me, but I'm going to keep it. There's some historical books. They're not necessarily. There's some more sort of historical fiction ones I'm going to keep. And you guys know I love the Khalida Hosseini. These are my sort of dreamy books that panic ones chris's do not plan to read that ever so those are some of us of i would say they're more chris's books but i do need to go through them and you're going to see my stairs now guys so i'm going to hold this very carefully be very careful what i show you because you're going up to my bedroom now and i've got to be careful because thomas is actually in here but he's got to be quiet because you guys don't want to hear an interrupting thomas so this picture i want to show you before i show you my books Vicky gave me this for my 40th birthday. You can all see what it says. It is one of my favourite ever quotes in any books. Obviously got to be Harry Potter based. This is one of them and the other one is I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Which, as you guys know, that sounds like me. There's my Hedwig. Right, so now we go down to the shelf. I could I'm briefly let you see some of that. That's my TBR so for July, so I don't really want to show you too much. These are the books I'm finishing this month. Now I'm going to be careful where I hold this because my dodgy knee. Right, so those books are newish ones on that side. This is my more new bookshelf. So these are the ones that I need, I want to get to because they're the ones I picked up most recently. But also, I want to sort of, they're, they're ones that, they're my newish ones. So I shouldn't really read them too soon. I've got to get through the old ones. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of a, that one could be a bit upsetting. Pick that up. A, charity. a lot of my books are charity shop based ones. The one was nice to Mum's got that, so I might buddy read that. You guys, quickly, by the way, I'll show you. Ordinary People, that was one of the big award reading books. It's actually on the Women's Prize shortlist, so I can't wait to read that. Why Mummy Drinks, that's my funny one. And then I've got the scary one, The Declaration. Now, these are books that have been lent to me by Charlie and the top one, but lent to me by Mum. Fierce Fairy Tales, Nikki to Gill. I can't wait to read that. So I say at the bottom, you guys know I've been desperate to read. Thank you, for Charlie, for lending me that. That's Thomas just running. Now, I've got some books. You can, can you see the knots and crosses? Charlie's got the series of that, that I really want to read all those. Emily of the New Moon, what's well, an Emily book. 
Captain Corelli and Mandolin, hopefully me and Charlie reading. I've got two copies of Raw because Charlie got me one and um, Jude and Simone got me one. There you can see the top just books at the top there. That again, another Fear and a Gibson. This surprise everywhere. That's going to be Buddy Red with Simone. Yes, I've got my Fifty Shades of Book guys. Don't laugh at me too much. There you go. There's the Diary of a Books, and I think that's going to be read very, very promptly because that's. See, I've got more thriller books. Simone and Nicole. That's down to you. Um, I'm trying to move the books across gently. There's some other books I've got. There's some Chicky Litty. It's not my bookshelves aren't completely organised. I do need to organise better. Now these are my historically ones. I'm going to show you. This one is one that I'm desperate, desperate to read because it is. There you go. See, see that six words. Of, I mean, you know that the Tudor period is my favourite period of history, apart from wartime. Actually, I've got some more big books there. So I've got the Nan O'Brien one, which I'm desperate to read because apparently I've heard really good things about her. Now this book isn't full because I'm reading two classics at the moment and I want them to put them back on the shelf. Now the Historian is a apparently a scary book, so God knows how I'm going to do getting through that. Now I've got my classics. I love my classics. A Khalid Hosseini one that looks amazing. Sort of some bigger chunky books. Oh, life pie there. And, and a Corona, my challenging one that's going to be in August. And now I've got to show you a couple of Harry Potter books. All you Harry Potter fans, I thought I'd definitely give you a little guide about what I've got. This one, Charlie got me for my Christmas present last year. I want to get more of the illustrated ones because I actually think the illustrated ones are almost, or if not better, than the other ones. Charlie, I owe you big time for that. This one is very special to me because I went to Harry Potter World for my birthday last year. Thanks to my lovely family, they all paid for me to go and it was one of the best experiences of my life. Guys, um, I don't know how many of you are Harry Potter fans, but if you want me to do a, a book on Harry, a video about Harry Potter, please let me know because it's something that's very important to me, very special to me. Because it's actually sort of the hobby that keeps me going when I'm sad. Anyway guys, I'm going to try and hold this very still when I finish this. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to me and you haven't, ring on that ding a ding bell. Like I said, comment below if, you, if there's any books you've seen that you want me to read and review or any you want to buddy with me. I love to hear from you and you guys are all so special. Hope you have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. That's done. So that.